The Omaha City Council reluctantly votes to repeal city code related to gun permits. Today's action comes after the Nebraska State Legislature changed the concealed carry law. KETV Newswatch 7's Joey Safchik is live with the development. Joey. Bill Quinesia, council members voted unanimously to repeal those city codes in order to be in compliance with state law, though some did so begrudgingly. Council 22 city codes repealed, but the council president feels it's hardly cause for celebration. Is it fair to say you feel like you have to vote against the best interests of the people of Omaha? Uh, definitely, it's my opinion that this, these should not be getting repealed. We're having to do this, uh, unfortunately, and that's why we opposed LB 77. LB 77, the law going into effect within the week, allows concealed carry without a permit. We're discouraged we have to be doing this today, but we must repeal this section of code pertaining to firearms based on state legislation that passed. Among the 22 code repeals, getting rid of Omaha's gun registration ordinance, which allows police to track stolen guns. Here's the city attorney. I'm sure what will be going through the officer's mind is also I'm letting this person go who has a gun there. I certainly hope that they're not going to go and commit some sort of violent crime with it. The Omaha Police Department and mayor opposed the law as it made its way through the legislature, but the bill did pass. Whether we agree with getting rid of these or not, it's not our choice. It was already done. It was done by the state legislature. The city council is already targeting countermeasures. Council President Pete Festerson says the city's law department indicates local government can regulate ghost guns, public spaces, perhaps even bump stocks and accessories. So those are things we're looking into. Obviously. Common sense measures. The new law goes into effect in just a few days, though. Festerson says they'll be working on those new regulations for the coming weeks. Reporting live, Joey Safchik, KETV, Newswatch 7.